can you fake letter of support when you apply for startup visa? Sounds very incredibly simple. But is it? Well, uh, many clients, when they see letter of support, they ask us very direct question. It looks very simple. It looks very easy to fake. There is no barcodes. There is no signatures. There is nothing that will identify this document as authentic. Partially that's true, but unfortunately we're dealing with organization called IRCC and designate organizations and the standards is basically established from day one. They change some parts of letter of support. Basically letter of support is commitment certificate. Okay, And uh, the first thing you have to look for that is significantly confirms the authenticity. And it's not barcode. Even barcode is easy to fake. IRCC came up with the model to identify fake document and prevent abuse of the system. How it works? When designated organization of any kind issue letter of support as part of commitment certificate, usually it's a document of five, six pages. It's sent directly by private channel to this processing center of IRCC directly from designated organization. Clients don't see it. Clients just have confirmation that submission was completed. Confirmation of that submission received back from IRCC to designate organization. That's how they establish the document is in archive and waiting for clients to, to apply and submit their own version, which they will receive when they apply for PR from designate organization. See, it's a very simple physical process. IRCC already has it and clients have it. And uh, basically, they submit their application and RCC match it. It's simple, right? What would happen if RCC doesn't have document on file and somebody submits the application? Red flag raised. Alarm. Why? Somebody presented something that was not previously issued by the designated organization. See? It's very simple. So if you have private inquiry, how to verify this or that letter of support, is it real, is it authentic, don't hesitate. You can always ask for second opinion from those who deal with multiple organizations, no direct access to them, and can verify that document easily. We can do that. You order consultation, you have a link below. Ask us privately if you have any concerns about somebody offering you letter of support, and by the way, offering letter of support for money without any effort from your side, it's probably red flag number one. You have to run away and save your money. As always, like the video, share it with someone you can think will benefit from this, and stay safe.